time management isn't working for most people, and honestly, the tools we're using are part of the problem. You've probably felt it yourself, days where you look at your to-do list or calendar and think, there's no way I'll get through all of this. Even when you try things like planners, time blocking, or scheduling every hour of your day, something always throws it off. A meeting runs long, a task takes more time than you expected. Or maybe you just get overwhelmed and don't even know where to start. The truth is, most tools and strategies for managing time are outdated and don't fit the way people actually work today. But there are newer, smarter tools that can help. In 2025, time management software has come a long way. Instead of making you work harder to stay organized, these tools adapt to you. They're designed to make managing your tasks, meetings, and priorities easier, not more complicated. But not all tools are the same, and what works for one person might not work for someone else. That's why today I'm going to break down three different types of time management tools, explain how they work, and help you figure out which one might be the best fit for you. Whether you're managing your own schedule, working with a team, or trying to balance both, there's an option here that can make your life easier. I put all the helpful tools that I'll cover in the description, so be sure to click on those to sign up for free accounts and exclusive deals. Time tracking tool one. The first type of tool we'll talk about is calendar-based time and task management software. Examples include ClickUp and Asana. These tools are for people who want an all-in-one system. They're built around a digital calendar, but go way beyond just scheduling events or meetings. Over the years, these tools have evolved to combine calendars with project and task management features. Think of it like this. Instead of just planning your day, these tools help you manage everything you need to get done all in one place. Here's how they work. Let's say you're starting a new project, like launching a small business. You can create a workspace in the software specifically for this project. Within that workspace, you can break everything down into smaller tasks, things like writing a business plan, setting up a website, and researching suppliers. Each task gets a deadline, and you can even assign priorities. If something is urgent, you can mark it as high priority, and the software will automatically adjust your schedule to make sure you get it done first. This means you don't have to waste time figuring out what to work on next. The tool does that for you. <laughs> One of the best parts about these tools is how flexible they are. Life doesn't always go as planned, and sometimes you need to move things around. These tools make it easy to reschedule tasks or shift priorities without throwing your entire day or week out of balance. For example, if an unexpected meeting pops up, the software can help you reorganize your tasks so you still get everything done. It's like having a personal assistant that's always on top of things. Another great feature of these tools is how they reduce the need for multiple apps. Instead of using one app for your calendar, another for tasks, and another for reminders, everything is built into one system. Now, this makes it easier to stay organized because you're not constantly switching back and forth. You can see your whole day at a glance, what meetings you have, what tasks you need to complete, and even what's coming up later in the week. These tools are ideal for people who like to keep everything in one place and want their schedule to work seamlessly with their tasks. If you're juggling a lot of responsibilities, whether at work, school, or home, this kind of software can make it much easier to stay on top of everything. Time tracking tool two. Now let's move on to the second type of tool, calendar integrated time and task management software. These tools are different from the first type because they don't replace your existing calendar. They work alongside it. If you're already using something like Google Calendar or Outlook and don't want to switch, this kind of tool might be a good fit for you. A great example is Reclaim AI. Here's what makes these tools unique. They use artificial intelligence to help you manage your time more effectively. For example, they can analyze your schedule and find ways to protect your focus time. Let's say you're trying to build a habit of working on a big project every morning without interruptions. These tools can block out that time on your calendar and make sure nothing else gets scheduled over it. They're like a shield for your priorities. They're also great for scheduling meetings, especially one-on-ones. Let's say you're a manager and you need to meet with five different people this week. Instead of spending hours emailing back and forth to figure out times that work for everyone, the tool can scan everyone's calendars and find the best possible times automatically. This saves you a ton of time and hassle, and it also makes things easier for your team. These tools aren't just for work, though. You can use them to schedule personal habits, too. For example, if you want to start exercising three times a week, the tool can block out time for it and send you reminders to stay on track. It's a simple way to make sure you're prioritizing the things that matter most to you. That said, these tools do have some limitations. They're not designed for managing big projects or collaborating with a large team. If you need to assign tasks to other people or track the progress of a project, you'll need something more robust like the calendar-based tools we talked about earlier. 
But if you're looking for a way to improve your personal time management and make your existing calendar smarter, tools like Reclaim AI are a great option. Finally, let's talk about the third type of tool, team meeting optimization software. If you've ever worked in a team, you know how hard it can be to schedule meetings that work for everyone. Between different time zones, packed calendars, and last minute changes, it can feel like an impossible task. That's where these tools come in. Examples include Clara and Savvy Cal. Team meeting optimization software is designed to make scheduling meetings easier and more efficient. Here's how it works. Let's say your team has a weekly meeting, but this week half the team is swamped with deadlines. Instead of sticking to the usual time and making everyone stress, the tool can analyze everyone's workload and suggest a better time for the meeting. It looks at priorities, availability, and even the amount of focus time each person needs to get their work done. The goal is to make sure meetings don't interrupt the team's productivity. These tools are especially useful for larger teams or companies with a lot of internal meetings. They can also reschedule meetings automatically if someone is out of the office or if there's a conflict. This takes the pressure off managers and makes it easier for everyone to stay on the same page. So which tool should you choose? It depends on what you need. If you're looking for an all-in-one solution to manage your tasks, projects, and schedule, a calendar-based tool is the way to go. If you already have a calendar you love but want to make it smarter, a calendar-integrated tool is a great choice. And if you're part of a team that struggles with scheduling, a meeting optimization tool can save you a lot of time and frustration. No matter which tool you choose, the key is finding something that fits your workflow and helps you manage your time more effectively. The best tool isn't the fanciest or the most expensive, it's the one that actually makes your life easier. Have you tried any of these tools or do you have any recommendations? Let me know in the comments and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.